Good morning, everybody. I'm just laying in my bed, actually, and my red cardinal was just sitting there staring at me. And I was wondering, I wonder if my little Robin's going to come back this year. She was so cute following me around in the garden. And hopefully she comes back. I liked her. The red cardinal's been with me for the last few months. Um, and it sits in this tree quite frequently. I'm going to get up. I have laundry to do. I'm going to strip my bed and things like that. Just thought I'd tell you about my little cardinal. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And I'm leaving in a couple days. Strip my bed, put my linen in the washing machine, and I'm pressing up a duvet cover. And I have to stop buying fussy linens like with ruffles and stuff. So I don't have to always do this. But I'm going to get all this done and get a bed fresh so when I come home, everything's fresh. Uh, I'm pulling out some of my summer stuff as well. I washed up most of it. I just found that. I have the pillowcases already uh, washed up. I have to stuff them. And I'm just waiting for my covers for the chaise lounge to dry. And then I'm going to put them on the chaise lounge. Not outside. I'm going to put them on the, on the cushions, I should say. Everything's fresh and clean. I got half of the stuff um, all cleaned up. Everything's empty, all the bowls are empty, fridge is empty, uh, so I'm pretty much good to go. I have all my linens done, the sheets and everything, the duvet, pillowcases. Gonna go make my bed. This is my worst chore besides cleaning the oven. Those are the two things I don't like to do. I'm gonna steam a couple of my hats because I'm going out and I think I'm gonna wear a hat. I don't, I think I'm wearing dress pants and a sweater and some stiletto shoes and a hat. I'm going to do this one and another one. This one's really cute, vintage one. And the next, this one's velvet and it's got little polka dots uh, on it. It's really, really cute. And then I have another one. These really nice polka dot empty hose I can wear. I was going to wear a dress, but I don't think I'm going to. But this is how I steam the veils. And then I have this one. It's not polka dots, it's bows. And I got this one in LA. It's brand new though. Bow at the back. So this is a contender too. Now the veil's just for the eye, not for the whole face. Got to steam it down to the eye level. Very cute hat though. Look at that. I'm going to have to do my hair in a French twist in order to wear this one. But I really like it. Actually, um, I think my daughter paid for it for me. I pop into the Salvation Army here. I'm just out for a walk, so I'm gonna see. Oh, it's busy, 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 busy. For some art, it's really crazy busy in here. I was trying to look at some of the dishes. These are really pretty. These ones here, I love the color. They're light blue. Pretty, pretty. But I'm just gonna go look at the art and the music's on live. I'm being brave and running into Costco. It's busy, busy, busy all the time. Well, thrifty and I got these little coasters. Bunny, I love the horsey. And I might give these ones to my sister. They're farm animals. Well, I guess they all are, but I don't want the rest of them. And I don't really need coasters. I can't get these ones out, sorry. What's that? A chicken and a duck. If she wants some. If she doesn't, I don't know. That one's cute too. But I'll definitely use the bunny for my coffee in the room. And the horsey in the living room. And I'll ask her if she wants them. Got my niece, um, she's expecting her second baby. And it looks kind of vintage, it's so cute. And then her daughter, I got her a few little things, a coat and a hat, but I got her these really cool crayons. They're kind of all different colors. Just thought they were cool. But I got them thrifting. So I spent $7 today. That was it. I went to Costco, got my vitamins, and I got a piece of um, wild salmon for dinner. I had a roast chicken and I just boiled it all down, took the rest of the meat off, put it in another baggie for uh, chicken pot pie when I get back, and this is homemade chicken broth. Just beautiful, right? Look how rich it looks. Love it. So I got a couple things ready for when I get home. This is the leftover chicken I'm going to make a chicken pot pie with. 
And I'm just freezing it up till I get back. Lots of meat in there. Make a really nice pie. Add some potatoes. And um, I think I'll do it with a puff pastry. Maybe some fresh carrots and, I don't know, peas or something. I'll think of something. I need a new countertop. I can't stand these whole. Okay, guys, I'm going to go finish else what I was doing. I'm trying to get everything organized because I leave uh, in two days. I just sold my little cabbage, the bunny one, and I'm going to go meet the lady. I'm running out again. I'm meeting a subscriber. I was selling my little cabbage, you know, with the, with the three little bunnies. And I have to meet someone, so I said I'd just meet her in this parking lot. But I'm going to go in because I'm early, you know. Of course, I'm going to look at the art, but I'm also going to look to see if they have a table for the garden. I don't care if it's wood even because if it lasts a year or two, I'm good with that. That must have been a nice chair in its day. It's like it's a knit. It's kind of cool. But I am looking for a table for the garden and I don't want to spend more than like 15, 20 bucks on it. And I know I can find it. I have before. No tables, but I'm going to look and see the art. I'm not going to be in here long. I'm going to go home. It's nice out. And I'm going to go dig in my garden because if that wasn't on that hard wood there, I'd like that. Um, I'm going to uh, dig some holes while the soil's wet because it's beautiful out today. Get that done before I leave. When I come back, I won't have to dig in hard soil, right? So that'll probably work for me. You know what, darling? You know what? But it's not a good day to do this anyways. But I thought I'd take a peek. Still got some time to look for some knobs for my sister. See if I can find any of them. Some hardware, I should say, not knobs. Sometimes I got so much on my mind, I don't even know what I'm saying. I need a three inch. Well, I'm glad I came in. I found a really nice big coach. Big, big one. I just met one of my subscribers too, so that was nice. I think this is really pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. We still have this gray set here. It's been here for almost a month now. Let's check out the silver. I'm looking for a canister kind of thing to put my coffee in. Or I might find something else. I just, if I could find that look, though, I'd like it. I want it to have legs or something. That's a nice little teapot. Oops. I just ran out to meet the girl to give her my cabbage. Um, she's a new subscriber of mine. And she saw that I was selling it online and we met up. Anyways, I shouldn't even be in here, but I am. I'm going to take one more little spin down here. And then I'm going to get out of here because i got to get home and clean the yard. Days run fast, right? I found these for the fall and they unzip, so I don't want the pillow form. Value Village can keep that part, but um, there's a zipper here, so I'm gonna take the form out and just buy the pillowcase. Um, I think they look great in the fall in my house. Beautiful. This is really cute, with a little bunny on it. Not that I need it, but it's cute. Love it. These lamps could be fabulous in a mid-century modern house. They're $15 each, and their shades are in mint shape, and the style's nice, too. I think they're fabulous. I got this fabulous pillow. I still got to take that out, and I got this huge poche, um, and I got a couple other little things, but uh, I got two pillowcases. I'll show you upstairs, but I got other stuff I got to carry up. I'm coming back down to do some shoveling, so I'll carry it up on my next trip. Okay, beside the the cloche, I got um, these two beautiful pillowcases for $5. They did have pillows in them, but I took them out and left them at Value Village because I don't want them. I just want the cases. I'm going to just go wash them up, and I'm going to go dig outside for a little bit. And oh, and I also got a new doorknob because I need it for this door. So I picked up one of them and that was uh, $5 minus 20% because I always have a coupon. You know that. Anyways, I'm going to go run and play outside for a minute. I can't get all the yard done up, but I can do a bit of it. 
while the sun's out. I was just looking at my receipt. You know, having the coupons really, really helps because like that took $2 off the pillow, so it made it, you know, $6. And the cloche was $14.95, I think. And I got it for 11. So yeah, it makes it worthwhile, right? Anyways. That's why I always donate so I can get more. I got three more things I could donate to get three more coupons, but I'll do it when I get back. While I'm out here in the garden, I I believe these are my bleeding heart, but I had three of them. And these are the only ones that I'm seeing coming up. I had two over there, but you know what? We'll see. Um, this is the one I bought. And then I got one from Maggie, one from Rose. I think Maggie gave me a pink one. I believe mine's red. And I believe Rose gave me a red one too. Anyways, I'm gonna dig a hole there, one here, all the way along for my impatience. Things are starting to come up and it's only, what, April 11th? Okay, I got all my impatient holes dug all the way down. Um, I got a huge cleanup to do, so pardon that. But I did it every four of my feet. Um, not in inches. My feet are only seven and a half. Um, anyways, I have them all the way down. And I'm going to stop at the corner down here. Right here, I'm going to stop. And I'm trying to see what's coming up. Something's coming up here, so I put the ring around it, so I don't know what it is. These are lilies, I believe. I don't know what that is. Crocus, maybe. Um, I gotta take that little sucker tree out, and then I took a little peek here at my uh, peonies, and they're really coming now. At the bottom, mm -hmm. they're coming. I'm just gonna clean out all the leaves from here, but for now, I'm just leaving things because of the you don't know what the weather's gonna be. Uh, Canada doesn't plant until May 2 4. And I found um, a leg for one of my birds. <laughs> and I think this is that. I can't think of the name. I called them jumping jacks or something, but that's not the name. I have corp cardboard down here underneath trying to kill off the plants. And I took a look at this rose, and I think she's trying to come back. So I'm just going to leave her. She's got like little, new little, uh, you know, uh, thistles coming, I think, right there. I'm not sure. And this one's coming really good. And it's pink. And this one's coming really good too, as you can see. Um, I have a couple hostas in here, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where they are. This is Creeping Jenny. I wish that would come back by itself. I'm just going to set that there for now. Um, I'm going to put this up on the back wall, I think. Lori gave me that. I had no place to put it. But for the winter, I just stuck it here in the garden. But I think I'm going to do that. I took down the... Um, what do you call it? The mirror, because it's breaking. But I only paid... I think I got it for five bucks. So I'm not stressed about it. But now I'm looking for a table. I think I have a hosta here. I hope that one comes back. These are, um, what do you call it? Irises, I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm not sure. But, and that's a hosta there. But I don't know how, if it's coming or what's going on with it. I really don't know. Oh yeah, it's coming. There you go, you can see it's coming in there. So yeah, I'll leave that there for now. But when I get back, I should see a lot more growth, right? Because the weather's really changing. There's so many little sticks from this tree above me. This tree is beautiful. It shades my bedroom, which is lovely. But I'm gonna tell you, she drops a lot of little branches. I'll clean that up in a minute. But I got a mess going on out here. So Rose might stop by today. I have these planters of hers. She gave me some plants last year. And it's been a year since I've seen her. Well, I seen her once in a parking lot or something for five minutes. I seen her at Christmas. 
before Christmas, she brought me a, a little plant and we had like a half an hour visit and that was it. But I have some napkins for her and stuff. Um, match her house. They're really nice, they're gray. And hopefully she stops by, it's her granddaughter's birthday today. Well, it was actually the other day, but they're having the party today. So, she's down in the city. And if she gets out of there in time, she's gonna stop by and pick them up because she needs them for her garden. And I think that's it. We'll see what else is coming up. I'm gonna go look for my bleeding hearts in here. I gotta get some spray paint and paint my new lantern. And I think that's exactly where I'm gonna keep it. I need a new hose too. That one's got a hole in it. I need to do touch-ups on these. Probably touch up on that shed too. It actually has been lasting. I've had it three years now. I cover it with a bicycle cover. And I laid down a bunch of plastic because there was grass coming through and hopefully that killed it off. But I'm just pulling it out now. I see some roots here, but I'm gonna clip them out. Just really keeping busy. And I am going to get the blower out, finish that up. The mirror fell apart, but I'm, I wanna put a table back there with a bunch of pots on it. So we'll see what I come up with. And the mirror didn't break though, weird, right? It fell right off the wall and didn't break. I can maybe recycle it, which is good. And I gotta clean out this give it a little touch up paint job. So I need to grab the can of paint when I get back and touch everything up. And I'm good with that. This one here, the paint's peeling off, but I kind of like it. It's shabby chic kind of. I think I'm gonna leave it. Anyways, that's where I am. I won't bore you guys anymore. I'm heading out to Alberta. So I'll see you out there. One of my vases out here broke. So I'm gonna move that one somewhere else and take this one and, and discard it yeah um i want to put a table right in here i do have one in the garage but it's really old and i could probably sell it for like 200 dollars and then buy a cheap one for out here so i'll just see what i'm gonna do i gotta watch where i'm walking because i'm finding tons of stuff coming up too so i'm trying to be really careful anyways Rose stopped by. She had her granddaughter's birthday party day and made a big lasagna and a uh, big beautiful cake for her granddaughter and had a party at her daughter's in the East End. She made me a lasagna, but I'm gonna freeze it till I get back. It looks lovely. I'm sure it's amazing. Her lasagna is always great. We sat out in the garden for like 15 minutes because I've been working out there all day, but that's it. Hopefully we'll see each other when I get back. It was nice to see her though. I am closing. Loves everybody. See you in Alberta. I got this patio to do when I get back, but I got to move everything and scrub it. I'll get to it. Bye. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.